Well, let's hope so. One thing that I would say, Joe, that um, Donald Trump made it very clear to all of us is that we're not living in a post-racial America. And many of us knew that for some time. And what Donald Trump mm -hmm. did yesterday, he's very aware. He knows exactly what he's doing. It's basically what you, you, Joe and Mika were saying, is that he's running a base election. So what he's doing is he's just doubling down. He, he basically traded in his, his racist dog whistle for a racist uh, bull bullhorn and a megaphone. I mean, this is what he does. Just think about this. In the 1990s, uh, there used to be these, uh, these blind taste test commercials that were done where they would blindfold someone and they would say to them, what's the difference between a McDonald's and a Burger, and a Burger King burger, right? What's the difference right. between a Coke and a Pepsi? Here you have yesterday a Twitter feed. You could not, if you did a blind test on the Twitter feed, you could not tell the difference between the Twitter feed of the President of the United States and a radical racist white supremacist. You could David not Duke. tell the difference. I mean, you, you seriously, you, you could, yes. yeah, you could ask people, did David Duke yep. say this? Or did Donald exactly. Trump say this? That's exactly right, Joe. And here's the thing. This goes back to the, the point that I was trying to make at the beginning here, which is Donald Trump is not testing his 2020 strategy. This is his 2020 strategy. It is racism. That's correct. It is fear, right? It's it his is, last it is hope. bigotry. Exactly. This is his last hope. He is doubling down, tripling down. And the scary thing about it, Joe, is what you and Mika were saying earlier, is that the Republican Party is silent. Mm. They're not saying anything. Right. So he's going to continue to do this because it's only one side that's talking about it. Right. Or people who are anti-Trumpers like yourself. No one. The, the Republicans who should be helping us keeping him in check are not because they're getting what they want. And that is the scary part in all of this. Well, and to Corrine's point, Joe, I mean, many would argue that why he's doing this 